Let's have ourselves a great time in Great Bay. Go. Okay, so great fairy right off the bat. One, two, three, four. What do we get? Couples mask. Okay. Starting off with some new masks. That's good. Gives me more options when I get back to town. Let's work with this. I really do hope I find the boss key here just to be able to go like there. That uh, saves a lot of time. are two more great uh, stray fairies here. One down here, which is an ocean fairy. Might as well. I mean, there are... I, I know where one is, and I have the Mask of Sense, so there's that. Okay, and I know where another one is in this room. I just have to do this, that, and burn to a crisp. Ow, oh, I missed that one. Let's try again. Burn to a crisp. That is a token. A possessed token. Okay, so Ocean 17. Here, do this. Ah! <laughs> and the hard containers never cease. Okay, I know there's one hiding in the little pot down here. I just there we go. I can't even tell what that is. I see... Is that a red? Oh, please tell me that's red. The Goron lullaby has been found. Ha, ah, three other things left to find. Okay, that's good. Oops. Well, might as well keep going in here. Maybe I'll get lucky and find that boss key. If not, well, I gotta round up at Snowhead. Okay. Oh yeah, it'll be finally time to pull out the ice arrows. Ah, I said ice arrows, not ice trap. Oops. Let's try that again. Here's a fun question for anyone who's played this and the 3D Majora's Mask. Which did you prefer? The Ice Arrows having dedicated targets to freeze in the 3D version? or the free-forming that you can do in this, where you literally shoot any surface of water. I personally, like, I much prefer just being able to free-shoot wherever you want in this game. See, oh, wrong mouse. Good thing I didn't jump. Like, don't get me wrong, I liked the, uh, the 3D remake of Majora's Mask, but... For every good change I feel like they did, there was a change I was like, was this really necessary? I don't know, it, it could very well just be me. Okay, and then I know that there is one more. 
Bio Baba over here. Oops, I forgot that you don't like to roll. I also remember that you don't like to walk. There we go. Alrighty, let's see. Stray Fairy, what do we got? Rupee. Okay. Well, I know this room right here, there's gonna be a lot of stuff to get, so... Let's have at it. So we'll start over here. No! <laughs> I did this. My mistakes. Oh my goodness, I just did that. Redo! Oh. I wanted a great time in Great Bay. This is not great time. Okay, let's try this again. First, first try. I think it was actually on this side too. Yeah, there's the Dexy hand. Just enough room. 20 rupees. Wonder how many 20 rupees there'll be in this dungeon. Easy way. More hard pieces. Oh yeah, you ca you can't swim underwater. All right, and this chest is more rupees. Well, that was close. I wouldn't have minded you pushing me onto land. Okay. Well, since I'm already here and equipped. This, this is where I wish I had Fierce Deity because I could skip this annoying mini boss fight. I did find it kind of funny how they made you have to use the fire arrows to melt that. If there was a, dun a part of the dungeon's design that says, hey, you're also going to be using fire arrows, so make sure you understand that fire melts ice, I can get it. Yeah, get hit. See if I can't get that quick shot on him at some point. Take a sword hit. I usually don't use my sword on you. This time's an exception. close. Alright, a little bit time consuming, but that does take care of the mini boss.
And Ocean 10. Okay, so I found at least 10 of every stray fairy so far. I'm just gonna say this right now. If this seed still wants me to collect the Snowhead or Great Bay Stray Fairies for some other required item for this seed, I'm gonna look at this and just go, this is the most evil thing I have created. So, since I already have the key, I might as well go face Wart now. get this taken care of since this is also a very time-consuming thing. Also, I do remember my usual stunts. At least I know this is the only time I have to face these mini-bosses. I do not have to touch the secret shrine. Alright, Wart, let's see how well this goes. start hurting me. Well, it's kind of working. I've taken out maybe a quarter of the bubbles. Good. That actually has been taking out a lot more health than I'd like. Alright, let the rush begin. Get into a corner so Wart doesn't really hurt me. I think that's it. Okay. Ooh, that was close. Okay, well, dare I say, this was probably one of the more effective wart fights that I've done. A little bit more damaging for my tastes, but that was somewhat quick. I'm getting decent at knowing how to use the bombs. All right, and worth the trouble. Ah, thanks for the health recovery. <laughs> that was very well timed. Just in case, I guess. All right, now to put the freeze on these things. Oops. Oh, geez, that was a hit. All these Octo Snipers. Forgot. See, I've been getting into the habit of, like, jumping on this, trying to grab the ledge, letting the Octoruck on the other side that I know is gonna hit me, like, miss, and then do what I need to do. I just seem to not grip the ledge long enough. Oops. Damn it. I think this is Fire Temple music I'm hearing? I think I'm just not recognizing from the sound font on uh, the first portion. Okay, not this side, but this side. Okay, 
I need to get this. There's another stray fairy in there as well, so I have to get that and turn on the green waterway. So we'll just take care of our friends down here. Maybe. Oh, that just stuns you? Actually. Well, that's a rare instance of the phrase backflip to go forward. So I don't have to worry about any of the aquatic life trying to kill me. Let's get this nice and simple. Sometimes I just wonder if I just don't open my mouth too fast, uh, things will work out better. Alright, waterway one started. I just have to get over there. And there was another tectite over there that I didn't notice. It's funny, I don't usually notice that one. Okay. Hook shot. Right spot. I'm in. Right spot. Perfect. Okay, and. Powder keg! Okay. I mean, I'm okay with having it uh, so that it's marked in my inventory. I don't think I have to do anything ranch related. I should really get better on my aim. Okay, because ranch defense, I think, like, the two items on ranch defense were useless. But now that I'm saying this aloud, it didn't say anything about Kremia's defense. And that's got me wondering. Could that also be something I have to work with? I hope not. Okay. So I've got a bunch of stray fairy locations coming up here. definitely have to make my way to the boss room uh, area to get the last straight fairy, so I still gotta do basically a full clear of this dungeon. Hopefully one of these is the boss key. If not, it's gonna be a return trip here after Snowhead. Which, knowing my luck, uh, Snowhead will probably have the boss key that I need. there. Not today. Alright, here's hoping I can do this first try. No worries. to get there, up top, oh, on the other side, I forgot, I run into the same issue every time. 
There. Climb up the blade. With this. Moonsteer. All right, going to keep an eye on that one. I don't think I've ever had to mark down these locations based on uh, what stray fairies I ha uh, they're under. So this is different for me. Okay, so we get down there. Eh, bombs. Alright, no way I'm getting around this, so it looks like I have to go back up the way I came. Yeah, take that. I hope biting me was worth dying again. Not shimmering, I've got everything. Ice arrows. And we're pretty close to the full clear of this, so I'm pleased with how things are turning out. And finding the Goron lullaby, that was perfect. I'm starting to think that was how it was gonna have to be. Okay, one stray fairy is in here. Ah. Doing a good job of keeping my health up. Okay, fire arrows. He thinks that Chu's gonna be hopping around for a little bit. Or maybe not. Maybe I got out of the range. And Stone Tower 11, which is unnecessary. And okay, good. That is everything there. Don't interrupt me. I'm almost finished. Now we're in here. Now we just leave the way we came through here. Just go into here, and there are two stray fairies to collect. Hard piece, you know what? I'm just gonna skip that. And then over here is the last one. That is a red rupee, and I don't have to care about that one. Alrighty. That means Great Bay Temple has been fully cleared outside of the boss. So now I can leave. I'll go back uh, up to the mountain. 
And then I will make my way up Snowhead, and I will do Snowhead Temple. And hopefully there will be a boss key hiding up in there, because now I have every Ocarina song, barring the Song of Soaring. And... things will work out. Okay, uh, just regular arrows. For now... Time to leave! Well, that took me half an in-game day, that's not too bad. Alright, back the way we came. And it's daytime still, so I don't have to deal with an abundance of like-likes. Still, still before uh, five o'clock. Now I'm just really curious as to how Snowhead's gonna play out. Cause I, I do have to basically full clear the place. I can't make any of my usual skip arounds. Because I, I can make it to go pretty easily. But I have to be able to play the dungeon with its stray fairies. So we'll see how this plays. Now, the good thing is, I do have small keys, so I can I can play a lot of rooms their normal intended way. Who knows, I might even find the last one up there. Here's a fun little trick. Doesn't reset your uh, C view if you shoot a bow on horseback and you try to hit those uh, icicles. Oh. <laughs> Let me up. Let me up. I was denied the mountain for way too long. I want to be up the mountain. Well, it's about to turn into night one, so I'm just going to let the transition play out. Oh, well, maybe I had a little time. That's fine. We'll just do that. We'll do slow start. The beaver lullaby shall send you to sleep. Can't do it. Still suck. In, there we go, there we go. There, 
That's about as far as far up as I feel like going before I feel it's too risky. <laughs> All right, temple number three. And a lot of exploration. Oh yeah, I could have dropped off the moon steer. remember the stray fairies here too. Because maybe I can angle it better on the other side. Let's find out. Ocean 18. Ooh, could I get it from this angle? Let's find out. I think I can. It's just a heart piece. But I have learned a new trick. And that is a dungeon map. Might as well. Is it here? It's to here! Okay. Well, ain't that funny. I can see where I'm going now. Okay. Uh, let's do over there. I have to do some of these puzzles the full way now. Okay. There we go. And... Ocean 11. Okay. Well, if I get to 14, I know where 15 is. More money. Okay, do I go... Yeah, let's go from this way. Supposed to be a kill. There we go. All right. Oh wow, that was a slide. <laughs> okay, Snowhead Eleven. There's one chest over there. Money. All right, I'm gonna kill you. Who needs a block when you've got a torch? Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of money hits now, methinks. Kind of surprised I didn't open up the uh, gate here when I blew up the box. All right, so we got the stuff that's up here. So there should be a key and a stray fairy in here as well. Yeah, actually, I could. I could use one of my keys just to go through here play a real good uh, guess game on where the stray fairy lo was located, but I can do this. Come on, 
which way are you? You are this way. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a lot of money fairies. Feel like, yeah, it's pushing me. Aha! Perseverance! <laughs> I am going to max out my wallet by the time I leave this dungeon. I guarantee it. Yeah. <laughs> Screw doing the actual puzzle. I should have the mask on. This way I know that I pop it. I didn't even see it appear. What the heck? Okay. Might as well take this just the good old fashioned way. So I do have to face down uh, Wizrobe. So let's do it. Every one of these mini bosses is so much more scary with that tune. At least having the compass makes this so much easier. Four elemental arrows spells death. Okay. Oh, hello. A much more out of the way Chateau Romani. Hmm. Well, considering I am. Already Chateau Romanied and don't need to sell it. I'm just gonna empty it now. But another swig never hurt. Okay. I wanna see if there's like a stunt or two I can do here. It's like the dungeon intends for you to do. You get the fire arrows here, and you make your way up going this way. I'm basically doing the dungeon in vanilla order. to having some small keys. So we'll do Great Fairy Mask. Gonna get in my way. What? Peace. Stand over here so I don't get hit. Too late. Alright. Yeah, I will say the music's pretty fitting. Oh, I found the bottle of red potion. Well, that means I got bottle number two. And a heart piece. Okay. Well, that kind of works. Yes, yeah, so I'm about to say, the shimmer should be done. Okay. Uh, I did need the... I needed the pillar to be up here. Whoops. Um, well, in that situation... I'll just do this. Gets that taken care of. 
Stone mask. Okay, that can help me later. All right. Uh, go on mask. Down we go to the bottom. Oh, the royal wallet. Okay. Well, let's see if I max out my royal wallet by the time I'm done this. Oops, that's right. I can work through that, but this way's easy. Okay, so next step. Go over here. One, two, three. Repeat after me. One, Two, three. That makes things so much easier. Blast mask. Okay, so money and masks. That is what we're finding here. Yeah, I know I'm reiterating something I've probably already said, but the game intended for me to have to get the Goron Mask in order to do any further progression in this game. All the bomb bags were out of reach, bomb chews couldn't be acquired without the bomb bag, and the Blast Mask was here. So, that's just cruel. still have to face uh, Wizrope 2. That'll be in a bit. I'm not trying to go for a full row of second hearts, but if I reach that, that's going to be impressive. Angle. A little more. Gotcha. I found Cafe's mask at least. Or the creepy rendition of my original face. I forgot about missing identity. Okay. I just need the letter now. Yeah, Pendant was really easy to find, so I can have that in my inventory, no problem. It's just finding the uh, Anjou letter. Okay. 
So we'll get over to the other side. I will quickly flower over to face Wizrobe 2, and then I'll get back up here, and Goat will be eliminated. And now that I think about it, uh, finding Cafe's Mask does open up the second route of Express Mail. So I will have to keep that in mind too. Look at that! I made it work! been a while since I've managed that, but I got the timing down that one. Okay, piece of cake. What do we got? Money! Oh, we almost maxed out the giant's wallet of this. Forgot, wrong way. All right. Every check taken care of. Let's go back up, and we're gonna take Goat down. This will be good. Just past seven hours, and we're just about to finally take down the second boss. Ooh, that was kinda close. Okay, how well will this go? Let's find out. Got it! There we go. That's a little fun thing I like to do, is just to see if I can put on the Goron mask before the fire arrow connects. Ooh, I like. This is gonna be fitting. Oops. Time save putting on the mask. Time lost because of that. Okay, well I got a single hit. <laughs> Little Tokyo Drift there. Okay, that's a good thing I got the Chateau Romani because this is gonna be a lot of magic being used up here. alley -oop. just long enough to get you on the ramps. This'll be it. I'm still impressed I have not been hit by a single lightning bolt. It's the boulders. Now we're in stalactite phase. Drifting on that one. Oh my. I mean, if all else fails, I can just go hunker down in a corner and start firing fire arrows. Which is. I think that's what I did for the longest time because it never dawned on me that I could, um. Like, use the. Uh, Goron Mask spikes to cause damage. Like,. To me, the only way of causing damage on bosses was swords and bows. So, I don't know, maybe I just taught myself the wrong things. But eventually, when I learned that, hey, you are supposed to use the Goron and roll into Goat, that's when things finally started clicking. Okay, well, there's the remains, and just for my sake, that is a compass of woodfall. Okay. But... That is the second set of remains. Two down, two to go. 
Okay, I have a little bit I can do here. Like nothing in the outer, uh, the Twin Islands area, so that's unnecessary. And what do you know? Another hint to reinforce that. There's the invisible chest here. I can climb up to the Goron Graveyard, so I can get Darmani up there. Oh, look at that! I finally have a shield! Kind of ruins the only, the single sword look, but oh well. Getting the mirror shield now is helpful for going up to Ikana. Which, hey, guess what? That's the next location, because I've got no other options! Yay. Uh, boat archery is a piece of heart, which I already knew. Okay. So, through all of this, I'm still looking for a boss key, and I'm still looking for a letter. Okay. Well, I wonder what Darmani has. Oh, I don't have lens. I can't do anything. Oh, I keep forgetting that factoid. I can go up here, but I can't do anything because you have to actually talk to Darmani to uh, trigger the conversation. Whoops. Okay, can't do anything in Mountain Smithy either. Actually, I'm smart enough to know this. Does this do anything or we just got a bunch of boulders hiding under here? No, 20 rupees for the uh, explorative. Okay. All right, yep, and Goron Race, of course, uh, is unnecessary, and as are... Okay, you know what? It says it's foolish. I'm going to get the two chests that are in the Twin Islands area. I'm not wasting my time on the Goron Races. And reason being, foolish items can still mean helpful items. It doesn't necessarily mean, like, like they, they won't uh, help me in my quest, but they could be, like, a bunny hood or something. And might provide me some information, too. So I'm, I'm going to look. It might be a waste of time, but I'm going to look. Okay, unnecessary. Because here's another thing too. If I find a snowhead or an ocean fairy, that proves to me I don't need to worry about the rest of them. Let's find out. Okay, so what do you know? Uh, not gonna bother with the race. Okay, it was worth sating my curiosity. Now then. <laughs> it's time for Ikana. I still have to find one boss key and a letter. Uh, well, I did get, I did get the couple's mask. So that's another check in town. Cafe's mask would set up something on a different cycle, so I'm not going to do that yet. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to East Side Clock Town. I'm going to try to advance time to 10 o'clock. And then I'm going to go do the couple's mask check, get that sorted out. Or do we even bother right now? No, I gotta take care of these leads while I've got them. So I'm gonna do this. <laughs> when I said play the song of double time, I meant play the song of double time. 
So I'll just sneak my way into the inn, listen to the stories to put it to 10, and then go check the couple's mask. See what I get. This time I actually had to read that so I didn't get the text box uh, lore dump. Speed me ahead to 10 o'clock. <laughs> Alright, that's all set. say though that it's good to know that I can just go like straight up to Stone Tower Temple. Like I, I don't think I have to dawdle with anything Econa Valley. Like maybe the bottom of the well? Oh jeez, this is a tune. Combined with that face mask on the back of the mayor's chair, that is genuinely terrifying. All right, Ocean 12. Okay, well, I just need to find two more of those and I can make that work. Hmm. I don't know what to make of this. All right, but put it off long enough. Let's get to Ikana. And I'll do a little exploration, because I know there's a couple of Gossip Stones. Even at this stage of the game, hints can still be valuable. to Akana. Okay, so I just gotta really hope that soon I find Great Bay's Bosky. Hopefully on this cycle, because if I don't, then I'm gonna have some time restrictions to work with. Alright, we have made it. Just see if there's... Oh, I forgot to trade in the Moons tier, too. What do we got? Oh. Okay, Ocean Tokens are unnecessary. And Snowhead Fairies are unnecessary. Okay, I love that. Oh, that could not have come at a better time. Snowhead Temple, Way of Hero. Well, I've already dealt with that. I don't remember. Moon's Tear. We got Snowhead music up here, too. How chilling. I do know that there is a Gossip Stone hiding over uh, up the ways of Tingle. So I'm gonna go get that, uh, hint red. Oh, 
Oops. Oops. One more tear up. And of course, that's again the hint I did not want to hear. Okay. Well then, uh, we are going to take a break because again, that's been going for nearly an hour here. We got we got one temple done and one temple almost fully completed. And I think I need a fresh start before I go into the uh, lengthy process that is Stone Tower Temple. I really hope that I'm going to find what I need up here. And that's still saying two more things I need before I can complete this seed. So uh, hopefully things will come together on the next episode. Anyways, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this. Take care, stay safe, and have a good day. <laughs>